Well, I mean, Madison Square Garden is, you know, it's a brand that kind of exists and rattles around in most, at least Americans' heads, you know, um, and many incredible things have happened, you know, in there, and uh, it's a, just a piece of history. So, I mean, Madison Square Garden is a, is a great idea. It's the central hub of Manhattan, the greater New York area, and people understand it to be kind of a pinnacle place. You know, every major rock band in the world has played that venue because it's the only venue of that size. Of course you'd have to perform there for a goodbye gig. If you could fill it, then you should do it. And LCD totally filled it. And there's, a, there's a lot of people here that we don't know that came and... I remember sitting down with James going like, James, this, if anything, this really felt like the end of the 90s because everything DFA, LCD, to me, had rooted in were things like post-punk DIY culture. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I knew I was gonna see everyone again. You know, this is just like one thing ending. They did it in such a way where it's like, these are the three albums, that's it, this is closed. And there wasn't any missteps. So it's a pretty amazing body of work to have. And, you know, just a really cool thing that I was like, you know, we did these three albums, these are great, and we're done. I like that idea. I think it's, I think a lot of bands should have done it. I think everything changes, everybody changes constantly as you grow older, as you have experienced more and whatnot. It makes sense to me that, you know, you sort of put, the, you sort of close the door on that and leave it at its prime, basically. He, he left on a high. He decided that okay, I've done everything I need to do here, I'm gonna go and do some other stuff. It was absolutely the best gig I've ever been to, and it, was, it meant something. Everybody was in a great mood. You could tell he was really emotional, everybody knew the songs. Absolutely just superb. It feels like that the feeling that you have like for like your, your last prom or something like that, because that's really the theme. The theme was really very prom-like, you know, the whole thing, the black and white thing, him in a nice suit and everything. I think that was kind of the idea behind it. The Last Dance. It felt like a giant celebration. I, I can't imagine someone not feeling like they got their money's worth out of that. Well, I remember us in a large group on the subway to go to Madison Square Garden and I think as we got closer, like you would see more groups of white. And I remember yeah, getting off at Madison Square Garden into like well, a lot of the huge seats. Yeah. We're all funneling into this one place. Like it just yeah. felt yeah. so great. That was pretty exciting. Just all these just thousands of people in black and white. And anytime you can make those kind of people dress up for something is, is a nice thing. They just played, they played everything. They played, they played stuff they hadn't played before. But everyone went slightly nuts. And I think I got kicked in the head and it was just, it just felt like a bomb had gone off. You just knew that the people wanted to really let it go. Everyone there is like out of their minds and it just, it feels like you're really watching something special. And and we kept saying, God, we, we gotta get on the floor. We gotta like get down there and just get in with all these people. I, I was with my friend Jason during Yeah and uh, he was just like, this is the last time they're gonna do this song. This is like the, the song where everyone goes crazy like we can't be going up crazy here like in the seats like let's go down and aziz had never like you know busted through a barricade or and he kept saying oh i really want to like crowd surf i really want to get up there and do that and um i gave him i think like the i would say the most rousing speech that i've ever given but probably the only like rousing speech that i've given in my whole life and i just looked at him and was like Look, like this is the only moment in your life that this will happen. You will never be at this moment again. We have one shot. Like, empty your f***ing pockets into my jacket, and we are going down there right now. And he like, he's like, all right. We got past one barricade and then got grabbed, and these like giant security guards. I just felt these arms come around me, and I was just like, okay, I'm done. I see Aziz in the corner of my eye, and he has like one foot over the barricade, and the guy holding me, he goes to grab Aziz. And just by him loosening his left arm, I slip out under his arms and jumped over the thing and then helped disease get over. I didn't even have a chance to like think about anything and then like some other people like voiced me up, they go, oh shit, disease! And they like lifted me up and before I knew it, I was like crowd surfing and it was, it was insane. It was so, so bizarre. I'd never done that before. Never had any desire to do that. Always thought it would be a bad idea, but it was actually super fun.
And Aziz's face together. was mm -hmm. the face of everybody there. It was these totally bug eyes, just aesthetic. like ecstatic. God, Arms amazing. and legs yes. spread. <laughs> and that's exactly how everybody was pretty totally. much the whole entire night. Yeah. Uh, Not alone. Other yeah. people felt that same way.